Hi guys, this is Rose from Catholic Homeschooling Family. And it is August 12th at 7.25 a.m. I am here at, Dr. at Driscoll Hospital, Corpus Christi, Texas. And we are waiting for our surgery. He already has his little, like, surgery gown, I guess. And we're just relaxing and waiting for the time to come up. It seems like everything is going well on like the last time that they sent me. They sent us away because he had like a real bad yeast type rash. The doctor still hasn't seen him to just, you know, clear him and say he's ready to go. But I think we're going to be able to do it this time. Please pray for him. Well, by the time you guys see this video, the surgery would have already passed. But you can pray for a speedy recovery, and um, the recovery period is like two weeks maybe. So there will be plenty of time for you guys to pray for him, so he doesn't get an infection or anything like that. I would really appreciate it. And um, right now we're just going to wait in and talk to the doctor. He's not here. He gets here around 8 o'clock-ish. So I will be back. I'll be back, guys. Are you okay? You're so serious. Are you sleeping? He had a... Uh, what is it? Relaxing stuff? Mm -hmm. What's it called? The, the happy juice. That happy he juice. Like. He's super relaxed. We're going into surgery in the next few minutes. Ah, we we'll right back. Hi guys, so it is now 8.15. Oh, actually, 8.10, I'm just looking at the clock, that seems to be wrong. And the baby's off to surgery. They told me it'll probably be like, the surgery, the surgery itself is like 30 to 45 minutes, but the whole process is like two hours. So, I think I'll be um, with him like by 10.30 or so. Maybe a little bit earlier than that. Um, but yeah, it's been a, I'm so happy to finally have it done. It's been such a long, we've been trying to do this since he was one. He is now a year and nine months. So we've been trying to get this surgery done for like nine months. Here in the, in the you know, I'm so, I'm really excited about it. Only because like I want to have it done already. I was worried about the consequences of like, waiting longer to have the surgery rather than you know having it earlier and um i can't talk very loudly i really can't talk right now it's like i'm in the waiting room full of people it's like the, the surgery waiting room there's a little screen on the board i'll show you i mean on the there's a tv screen on the wall i don't know if you guys could see that but it's got like every patient is a number and you can just like watch, you know, for your, you know, your, your patient's number to see where they are in the like, in the process, right? So a lot, some of them were in the holding room, recovery room, preparing for surgery. And those are like the, like, it tells you what your, well, like for me, it'll tell me where my baby's at. And I actually don't know his number, I have to find it, but... Anyways, guys, I'll be back in a little bit. Hi, guys. It is now August 30th, and it's about 4 o'clock. I think it's like 3.55 or something p.m. And um, I just wanted to quickly come on here and tell you that... Um, so, it's been like two and a half weeks since my baby had the surgery. It wasn't this... Today's Friday. Labor Day weekend. It wasn't this Friday. It wasn't this previous Monday, but the previous one. So it's been about two weeks and four days. And so he's out of surgery. He's been out of surgery, right? And he's healing pretty well. He's not 100% healed, but he's almost there. Now the thing is, to close the door, Chito. Get easy and close the door. Sorry about that. Uh, the thing is that the surgery didn't turn out as we had expected it to. It didn't go as well as we expected it to. And, um, well, mostly it's because of my child's anatomy. It ended up being 
much, much more complicated than we had expected or even the doctor had expected. And he is going to have to go back in in November for um, more work. And, okay, I would. And he, um, so if I would not have been, if I wouldn't have been talking about the surgery with you guys for months on end, um, I wouldn't have, give me a second. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. Um, so if I wouldn't have been discussing this with you guys, I probably would never would have made this video. Uh, I did make, start this video, you know, to kind of tell parents that are going to be in the future going through this to let you know that it turns out okay and your baby heals beautifully and he continues on with a normal life. That is actually probably not going to be the case for us. And for my child's privacy, I really don't even want to discuss anything. What happened? Nothing. Go, please. I'm making a video. Discuss anything that would expose my child, you know? And I wish I could give you more details, but I do have to respect my child's privacy. Uh, like I said, I only started this video to give, you know, to help parents out and let them know that it turns out okay and that everything's beautiful and wonderful. And in most cases, it is. It was just our weird, unique situation that it ended up being not the way we were expecting or even the doctor was expecting. Like, he's gonna, baby's gonna have to go in for more surgery in the future. Um, and so I really can't get into it anymore. But thank God he's safe and he's doing good. He's alive, right? He's doing well. He's healing. He's been, you know, a toddler. He's almost two and he's acting like a toddler and jumping and climbing and running and playing. And so, you know, this surgery was supposed to happen a long time ago. It was supposed to happen. Wait, wait, don't be careful. Be careful. It was supposed to happen. <laughs> In November, when he turned one, they told me we should have it next month in December. But I was like, no, no, it's going to be Christmas and I'm going to be super busy. And I don't want to be, you know, having to take time out of our very busy schedule as it is already to go do surgery and then to have to be dealing with mommy, a sick or not sick, but mommy, like a, mommy, mommy. a healing child um, this way until January. January comes around, he gets the flu. They said no. February comes around. He gets the flu. They said no. March comes around. He gets the flu. They said nope. They said call us back when he's been flu free, illness free for a month. Um, so I call in April and they don't have any appointments until June. June comes around. He gets a cold and they said you're going to have to wait. Then we finally get it scheduled for um, July. We go to the have the surgery. We go and we get there to Corpus at the Driscoll's Hospital. We go there in July, and because he has a diaper rash, they said no. Now I would have called to tell to I would have called them in advance to tell them, hey, he's got a diaper rash. We should still go. The diaper rash happened Saturday surgery was on Monday we were already in Corpus so we just went over there and they were like nope sorry now it's August and we got it done and it was way more complicated than everybody was expecting and so um, I just wanted to kind of conclude this video where we're at right now because I don't want to discuss it any further. I have to, you know, be mindful that my child wouldn't want me to be discussing these things about him with other people. And it's, it was a very difficult, but this was a very difficult video for me to make because I've been very emotional about it for the last like two and a half weeks. I've never, I haven't really told anybody except for a couple of medical professionals and every time I was, would talk about it, I would cry. Every time I would talk to my husband about it, I would cry. And it's just been the last couple of days where I've been able to discuss it and not cry. I haven't even told my, my in-laws or anything 
um, the severity of the situation. They asked me how to search you up. We were just like, oh, fine. And that was pretty much it. And so, um, I'd like to thank you guys for your patience. I, I'd like to thank you for watching the Catholic Homeschooling Family. God bless you. Bye-bye.